Hey guys, this is the Prepping Preacher. I'm Brother Tim. I'm so glad you're here. I hope God's truly blessed you. Hey, I want to talk to you just real quick about something that really can get a hold of you uh, as a prepper, and that's uh, anxiety. Worrying about if you can, if you've got enough done, or if you're getting it done, or just trying to get it done, uh, and it can lay on you. So stay tuned. As I said, this is the Prepping Preacher. I'm Brother Tim, and I am. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope God's truly blessing you. If it's your first time around, uh, let me just cue you in here right off the bat. Uh, I am, and this channel is, pro-God, pro-family, pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, that means guns, and pro-military and police, uh, and pro-vet. We support our vets. Uh, if any of those offend you, well, there's another channel out there for you. Uh, but that we do stand on them, and so you will be offended if you sit around here too long and listen. Uh, but if those things don't offend you and you support those, as we do, uh, well, then pull up a chair for a while, and we'll have a talk. And you guys that have been hanging with me, man, God bless you. God bless you. I love you, and thank you for all the support. Uh, never in my life would I thought 10,000 people would want to hear what this old boy had to say, and I thank you for it. Uh, I thank you. Uh, it just blesses my heart. Uh, and the prayer, the prayers that, that y'all have sent to me and the request, uh, and other people are praying for you, just know that, uh, you are loved. Always know that you're loved. And if you're a child of the King, you've got family all over the world. And that's just so reassuring in this day and time. And I, that's kind of what I'm talking about today is this day and time. We have almost an information overload. So much is coming at us, uh, through the, uh, uh, through the media, through everything that we're looking at, that we're seeing all these uh, almost to an impending doom where it seems like it's only going to take one more incident to change the world as we know it. And we've been seeing the world change as we know it. And so it can really lay on your spirit. Uh, it could literally, uh, man, uh, depress you. Uh, not only that, but then you have the anxiety of, as a prepper, is you've already heard the call to get ready. And you're trying to take care of your family and put things back, but uh, you may not be making the agenda that you thought. And uh, just to give you a little clue, I don't know uh, my background. I'm used to making a list of, of each day of what I plan to accomplish, my objectives for that day. And there are times, and trust me, as a pastor, that it doesn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out the night before when I make that list or early that morning. Uh, you have to be fluid. Uh, you cannot be static. You cannot be sitting still because things change. And in a prepper's life, you got to remember that too. Things change. Uh, and you have to roll with them. Uh, what I tell people is uh, you got to back up, regroup, and hit it again. But before you hit it again, back up, regroup, and take a breath, and then hit it again. All right? Because uh, a lot of things won't work out like you think they should, or you're not getting to the point, you know, you might say, well, I don't have enough of, of this food put back, or I don't have enough med supplies put back, or I don't have a generator yet, or I don't have the money to do this or to do that or to this. All right, here's a, here's a clue. Don't look at that in the negative sense of what you haven't accomplished, what you haven't done, uh, what you haven't got. Look at where you're at now, okay? And it applies the same way to your salvation. Uh, I explain this to new Christians, okay? Uh, he begins sanctifying you as soon as the Holy Spirit enters you, you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. He begins setting you apart. He begins uh, changing you, getting you ready for that day that you meet him. What a day that'll be. But uh, don't look at where you're messing up. Now, you can do corrective action for where you mess up. Don't, don't misunderstand the old preacher here. But don't look at how you've messed up. Look at where you've come from. All right, and I asked people, I said, this is how you know uh, that you're truly saved is, are you uh, better today, walking closer to Jesus today than you were yesterday, than you were last week, than you were last month, last year, 10 years? You just, you, you get a time frame and you look at the positive there. 
that you don't do this anymore, that you don't act this way anymore. Well, the same thing, you know, and, and that's the salvation. That's, that's that assurance of salvation there that he's still working on you, praise God. Uh, now, on prepping, the same thing. Don't look at the negative, what you don't have, what you hadn't got done, but look at what you have accomplished. Uh, number one, you've got the mindset. If you're watching this video, well, you're already taking steps in the right direction because you're wanting to do better and to be able to take care of your family as he's called you to be. But don't let the anxiety grab hold of you. Don't let the fear grab hold of you. Don't get upset at yourself. Don't get upset at your spouse if they're not in, on board. Don't let... Well, I always told my kids, I said, uh, always work to live, not live to work. Well, in the same aspect, um, how about this? Let's, let's prep to live, not live to prep. Okay, find that happy medium there, guys. And, and, and how do we eat an elephant but one bite at a time? Take it small bites. Make you a list of accomplishments, of uh, objectives you want to achieve. All right? And it can be as short as one day, one week, one month, one year, whatever it is. Make you a list. But here's the thing. It may not work out that way. The list can change. It can constantly be changing. Okay? Evolving is what it is. Uh, take it from this old boy, man. Been been doing this for a long time. Uh, a lot of times it doesn't work out the way we think it should. But he's got a plan. And, and he's going to take care of you in that plan. You just keep doing what he you feel that he's called you to do. Don't try to compare yourself to others. Don't try to compare yourself to where others are at in their preps. You just start doing what you can with what you've got and use everything you've got to the best of your ability. Guys, I just wanted to give you some words of encouragement because you're doing good. You're going to make it, and we're going to make it through any of the hard times because, number one, we put our trust in him. Not in our things. We put our trust in Him. But He also told us to be like the ant. Don't be a sluggard. And so we're going to put our trust in Him and we're going to do as He's told us to do. And that's take care of ourselves and our family. And that way we can also take care of the community. We can come alongside somebody who may not know Jesus Christ and we can show them Jesus Christ through our works. Guys, like I said, I love you. I do. I love each and every one of you. And I... I really want the best for you. And the best I got is Jesus Christ. I'll keep saying it like Peter and John at the gate called beautiful. Silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus, child of the King, walk in Jesus. Walk in Jesus. Well, don't forget, we got our lives at 7 p.m. on Friday night. That's uh, central time. But until I see you again, I pray God may richly bless you. You'll continue to stand in that gap. This is the Prep and Preacher, guys. I'm out of here.